Hello from Bear River. Today is Friday, August 5th, 2022. I'm at the headwaters of the Bear River in the picnic area, and uh, there's nobody here, and it's a Friday. So um, I'm thrilled. I was going down to Lake Valley to check on the elderberries, and decided to come here because uh, it rained so I'm not going to try to go swimming <laughs> and uh, Bear River is uh, doesn't have as much of a flow as it did this spring but it is real nice to have it all to myself this is our precious Bear River I saw some beavers down at the fishing access a couple days ago, but I didn't get a very good video. And the beavers that I've seen, I haven't seen in a couple years, and they're becoming a little bit more secretive. But every time this river gets to flow freely, the water quality improves. It gets aerated and purified by flowing. And it gets animated by flowing. This is a living river. Living water aerates, animates, and purifies. It mixes in with the air, the sunshine, and the earth, all the basic elements of life. And that's what we have happening here. That's why we need a river. We need water in a river and not in a pipeline, not in a canal, because it doesn't pick up life. You want living water? One time, uh, I remember as a child, uh, we went on a school field trip to uh, Lake Kachuma. And uh, they were saying, this is where your water comes from. Henry! He's getting a little wild there and pushing the boundary. Anyway, they told me that the water we drink is a solution of dead bacteria after it's treated. And it kind of made me feel like, oh. And that's not what we want for our children. What we want is aerated water, living water that has come in touch with all the elements, the sky, the sun, the earth, the air, it is water. Oh, Matakweasin, because water is life and life is in water if we allow it to be. From the headwaters of Bear River.